Hi guys, Trolls on Reactions, and this video I'm going to react to the season 5 premiere of Once Upon a Time. If you watch this on YouTube, I also offer full reactions and early access on my Patreon. But yeah, new season, I'm very excited, especially compared to, you know, when I started uh, season 4. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of promising stuff, but I think the thing I'm most excited about is the evil makeover for Emma. <laughs> yeah, priorities, right? Mm, but no, really, I really want to see a new look. Not saying I'm happy that she's evil, but there's always a plus. Yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> One day, you will have the opportunity to remove Excalibur from its stone. Oh? But you mustn't. Leave the sword alone. You thought this would be the most efficient way? Most effective way to tell her this? Yeah, she's still gonna pull it. Think the dark one and all. It's okay, do not give in to dark temptation. That sword is not yours to take. Why not? Because of some prophecy from some old wizard. So I should accept you as my king? No, thank you. I just need to take what I want. And then I. Did you wait for them the to give this speech? In all the realms. Oh! Your turn. <laughs> You're not a little bit scared? No? Okay. Huh? We must find its other half. Isn't it the dagger? It is the fucking dagger! Oh fucking hell! Is that really how I had the makeover in mind? They better not be the final makeover. The Dark One's powers inside you. Inside all the Dark Ones. Rumpelstiltskin is but one of many. Perhaps I can be another. How about Gorgon the Invincible? Um, no. No. Yes, probably easier this way. I'm in the Enchanted Forest now, which means Merlin can't be far from here, and the Apprentice told me he can destroy the darkness, so I'm going to find him. Merlin? Oh, you made that off of me. No, I'll never be like all of you. I'll never hurt the people I love. The people who love me. I'm scared Price. it will happen. In order to cross realms, it must be wielded as it was forged, with both sides of the coin. The light. <clears throat> the dark. Wow. <laughs> All that build up. Enough. You're going to embarrass yourself and waste our time. You already embarrass you yourself. You've done too much good. No. We need someone wicked. Don't be so pissed off at Regina, she's trying. No. Oh, wait. No, no, no. no. I don't like that no. wicked thing. No. Not my sister. I need directions to Camelot. Do you know the way? Of course. It'll only cost you two pieces of silver. Really? I uh, don't have any silver. Three pieces now. I'm in a hurry. Four. Just tell me! What kind of... Oh, shit. We still want to know the way. Could use you even if they don't know it yet. If he goes, I want to be here with him. What? No. This rose is now linked to your beast. Belly. They really. <laughs> as long as it still has petals, he lives. Now go. They really just did that. I'm picturing. A... What? Well, I that was very easy. Magic. I didn't, dearie. You did. Congratulations on your first magical transportation. You tricked me. Well, of course I did. I'm a dark one. No way. Ah. Something that belonged to Emma. Something meaningful to her. Fine. That we can do. No, you can't. Well, your magic isn't powerful enough. Huh? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Never. Wow. Well, Hook, she don't really even think branch, about it. Yeah, you should talk to her. Almost as annoying as a mosquito. 
What? Get you on, mosquito lady. Back off, lassie. Hold on, that hair. Is true. Don't test me. Aren't you from a movie? I'm to hurt you. And the difference is. Aren't you from Brave or something? You don't know much about the Wisp, eh? They're born in a magical place. The Hill of Stones. They answer your question when you bring them back home. It's about a day's trek from here. If we go together, days. I can get my help from the Wisp, and maybe I can give it to you, and you can get yours. Use that pen. Ride the darkness. Yeah, out about and bring that. It back. I broke it. You what? Uh, <laughs> Stay calm. That's how the last author got in trouble. He stopped recording history and started using magic to change it. My mom wouldn't want me to. You ever hear the phrase slow and steady wins the race? I don't have time for slow. What exactly is your hurry? Why do you need the Why are you even cutting plants even though they're my not brothers. standing in your way? They were kidnapped by the United Clans of my country. Just three wee innocent boys. She can't just give it to you. The person who whispers to it becomes its owner forever. So if I let her use it, I can never use it? Not while her heart beats. That's why you led me to her. You wanted me to betray Merida. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Inner Shrachet is my mom here. Oh. Why did that scare me so much? This is a potion your sister gave me a long time ago. To do what? To rip out a heart. And why would she give you that? Because she wanted me to take your mother's heart. It can't be a surprise your family's troubled. Now then, this is probably gonna sting. Oh! oh. Now then, do you want to see something? Fuck. Really painful. Did you really just... Yeah. You really just... You really fucking just... No! Well, Hook, you fucked up. What did you think would happen? Now I feel like her hand is over there. <laughs> Come on, we have to get rolling and go. The others are waiting. What? No, just... I'm right when you're concerned about me. <sighs> yep. Selena. Yep. Well done. You really do love her, don't you? Funny that you couldn't tell when I was glamoured as Marion, though. What do you want? Don't remind us. What are you, dear? What more do you fucking want of him? You already are pregnant, disgusting. Ooh. Now I have someone to love me. And only me. See, this is my future, and I am not letting anyone you should have just adopted, take it from man. me or turn it against me, so I am going as far away from you and Robin as possible. Over the rainbow. Where you can't follow. <laughs> Back to Oz. You can't, Regina, please. But she's supposed to see Robin die in front of her? I have to. <laughs> Good luck with getting back home and off the show. Huh? I knew you could open that portal. But I also knew it would weaken you. See, there's one thing our family does well, sis. And that's exploit pain. And we're gonna take your portal, but we're not taking it to Oz. We're taking it to Emma. Damn, Regina! Yeah, I, I don't think Emma's gonna, you know, kill her, no. but I'm still buried. Do you have any idea what you've done? I... that I do. Floyd, shut down the fryer and secure the condiments. Don't move. I'm not sure my insurance covers this place going airborne. <laughs> It'll be fine. Your Majesty, it's coming. How do you suggest we get this cyclone to take us to Emma, not to ours? By using this. I'm a speedy blanket. Twister! Play a ride! <laughs> it's okay. Ready to wound the epicness? You did? Twister! Out, dwarves, adults only. Hey! No! No? We're staying! Maybe we just should have used balloons instead of a tornado? Uh oh. Whoa! Excellent. 
No, 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 you put that back in. You put that back in right now, Missy. Put that. Oh! Swan. Don't. Fucking hell, but dude! We're not going to take the chance. No, wait. We can't do that. This has to be our choice. But, but. <laughs> Look at us. Heroes and villains together for you because of you. And if we can overcome, and if we can overcome our demons, then so can you. You think you should have this? Take it. You'll be able to control yourself. I, like, I'm sorry, but I would not do that. No. Emma, think about it. If no, into the wrong hands, what I could do, what you could do. But what can she do? She has the dagger. Merlin, where is he? We were told that he's been missing. For years, yes. But not for much longer. Because according to his prophecy, you're destined to reunite him with us. So much gold. If we could just get like a little piece of that, I can finally get some editors. Six weeks later? So is Emma evil six weeks later? Your memories. How many times are you gonna lose your memories? Okay. Like it must be a big ass mess in your heads. Where's Emma? Yeah, of course it's not here. Relax. I'm right here. Oh whoa! That's the evil makeover. You went to Camelot to get the darkness out of me. And you failed. Well, horribly! What the hell are you supposed to be? What? Hey. Why are you doing this? Because I'm the dark one. Ah! <laughs> the fuck, man? You really? I. St <laughs> They really just gave us a six weeks later, another uh, yet again they lost the memories and like, whoop, here she is evil, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, I did get my evil makeover, I guess. What the fuck? The way she talked, it was very unnerving. Uh, so, uh, a sneezy, like, not like dead dead, right? Just a statue for now? I'm sure we can unstatue him? Right? Yeah, uh, anyways, this was the season 5 premiere of Once Upon a Time. And I thought it was a very good start of the season. Mm, I'm very much intrigued. I feel like I should be annoyed with yet again, you know, them losing the memories, but I'm not really. I'm just more like, again, but not like, a, again. Um, Although, of course, I want to have these answers right now, but yeah, no, we wouldn't really have that much of a storyline or that much of a story arc if they're just gonna, you know, give me everything on a platter. Well, the silver platter. Um, so I'm not that annoyed, um, but I'm really curious how, you know, what kind of balance we're going to get. But I mean, it, it, it wouldn't, I don't know, it wouldn't really be once upon a time if we wouldn't constantly get, like, flashbacks and, like, current scenes interwoven with each other, so it makes sense. Mm. Although I was really living for this visual of, you know, Granny's being it in the Enchanted Forest. It looked so out of place at the same time. It also looked quite nice, quite homely. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, uh, right at the start, you know, we, in 1989, we see little Emma and she's already being warned by, like, well, by this guy. Um, warning her that she shouldn't take, well, shouldn't remove Excalibur uh, from stone, that she shouldn't do it. Which, okay, she didn't do it because we saw that King Arthur himself took it out of stone, so I'm not sure what that was. And I'm also still not sure who this guy is. Like, who who are you? A part of me was like, you're gonna be Merlin, but I'm I would be very surprised if they gonna cast a black man to play Merlin, but who knows? Um da -da. Oh, also even more important with the sword is that 
uh, uh, the end is missing of it. And the end turns out to be the freaking dagger. And obviously they want it to be completed. But in the six, six week, uh, six week, weeks later bit, Emma still has her, well, dagger. So in those six weeks, they haven't completed it. I'm just like, okay, how did it not get completed? And is completing it the way to save her? Or the way, well, I guess to get Merlin? Is that what they have to do? But then again, how did that not happen in those six weeks? And I very interesting, you know, that we see, I guess, this voice that's going on in people's head when they are the dark one. I'm just like, uh, how... I don't know, kind of wonder how it was for Rumpel, but I I like the decision to, you know, use Rumpel Silskin as this voice of the Dark One in Emma's head. I mean, they explained that they, you know, that could be like different forms, but I like that they used Rumpel Silskin or at least, you know, uh, that actor as well. I thought it was very well done and I liked the dialogue between him and Emma and, you know, even more because Rumpel Silskin is always good at, I guess, tricking, even though it's not, it's not really Rumpel Silskin. Um, I still liked, well, I guess I was conflicted, but I still sort of enjoyed seeing him trying to trick Emma and, of course, giving over to the dark side, you know, fully embracing, you know, being the dark one. Mm. So I thought those scenes were well done. And it was it was actually a surprise that Emma wasn't, wasn't immediately like, oh, here I am with my evil makeover, I'm the dark one. So I do like that build up, you know, at first... Not gonna lie, at first was the support, like, wait, is this your evil makeover? But then when it turned out that she wasn't, you know, I guess... I mean, she was still our Emma at that point. I was like, oh, okay, it makes sense then. Mm. And I I think it's it's a good thing that there was even more, even a little bit built up, which we're gonna get even more of, because, again, they did give us the six weeks later bit, but as we know, obviously we're gonna go get some flashbacks, see what happened in those six weeks to get us to that point where we are now so i uh, assume we get to see even more this build up about how she eventually did give well i guess how or he was failed at saving emma mm. there was this tension going on throughout the episode between regina and hook and it's no secret i like both characters i was definitely frustrated like hook please give regina a chance and also regina can we already like, how many more times do I need to ask this? Can we please stop with the hook jokes? Like, yeah, we get it. This man has one hand and has a hook. Do we constantly have to make jokes about it? Well, jokes. I'd be bitter about it. But Hook, um, you know, I understand his frustration. I understand that he really, really wants to help Emma. But that was a really bad move, you know, to go behind their back and to try to break out Selena. Again, I understand that you want to help Emma immediately, but... Why, I don't know, why would you think that Regina wouldn't want to do the same thing? She was obviously motivated. But then again, she, nah, that's always going to be, you know, certain past. So breaking out didn't really go too well. Then I thought Selena would leave the show, which honestly, I wouldn't really mind. Uh, <laughs> um, which obviously is because what happened in the previous season. Mm. But even though she didn't end up leaving the show, I was still happy with the outcome because... Regina, you know, outsmarted her. I was like, yes, like she did that again. Um, and I was happy that she, I guess, could still sort of clean Hook's, uh, clean up Hook's mess. And she also used this opportunity, you know, to ha finally have this way of, um, you know, being able to go to the Enchanted Forest. And in the Enchanted Forest, I I'm pretty sure, well, I'm almost 100% sure that this girl, uh, what was her name? Oh god, how do I pronounce that? Me Merida? Merida? One of the two is the girl from Brave. I haven't watched the movie, but I have some, like, I've seen some promotional images, I guess. And I mean, it's, it's pretty recognizable with the hair and, you know, the bow and stuff. Um, So I can't really comment about what I think of her, well, of this adaptation. I mean, I would, I would love to hear you guys' their thoughts on it. You know, did you think they did a good job at it? adaptating this character or movie but it got a little bit of a sense of the character um i want to say i was that intrigued with her uh but again it's not like she had a lot of screen time but i i didn't really mind it and i was definitely curious to see you know how far emma would go to get the whisper mm. 
I did not expect for Emma to rip out her heart. There was definitely this, uh, what the fuck is going on moment. I was pretty confident, like, oh, no, I must, you know, she's not going to kill. It's definitely not, like, the girl from Brave. I don't think, nah, if, if, like, if it was, like, a random new character, maybe. But because the, this Brave character wasn't that worried, I was like, yeah, I very much doubt that they are allowed to use this character if they're going to let her die a violent death. But, like, Emma, nah. But they still managed to make me stressed out right, you know, right up till that point where Hook swooped in and he was able to put it on pause and then all together, you know, but especially Hook managed to uh, convince Emma, you know, with her own choice to give her her heart back. And at least at that point, you know, to fight against this, well, the darkness and to not give in to it. So there were a lot of, there were definitely, well, a lot. There were definitely some Hook and Emma moments that I really adored, even though that's not wound, but those were sweet to watch. I'm surprised that Charmy didn't say that much, it was mainly Snow, but what Snow said I did really enjoy, and I'm surprised that she could keep it together, but at the same time, she knew that she has to keep it together. It was, they knew that they didn't have that much time, they knew that she wasn't, an, again, you know, alone in the outer world, I mean, in the Shannon Forest again, so couldn't really um she can't really allow herself you know to just be in the freak out mode i also really like that when they uh when they were all you know waiting in granny's to go to the shadow forest that they were joined by leroy and the other uh dwarves and leroy <laughs> i still i still can't what, what, with this, this little speech that he was giving you know being sick of sick of being at the sidelines, we see the adventures. I was just like, does this mean you got to upgrade? You know, are you <laughs> like, am I am I thinking too much about this? Or are you literally going to get some main stories now? I, I hope so, though. I wouldn't mind seeing more Leroy. It's been a while. Mm. So... And obviously, I definitely should mention that. Really like that Emma gave the dagger to Regina. And she was like, you know, I saved you. Now you have to uh, save me. And, but at the same time, it shows us that, that, you know, that she believes Regina is able to, you know, look past those feelings. And if it really has to happen to destroy uh, Emma. Which I was a little bit shocked by. But at the same time, yeah, I mean, if, if there's no other choice... We, we do need someone who is able to do so. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, if... I mean... I don't think if, if like, Emma... Oh, no, not Emma, what I'm saying. I don't think if Snow or Hook, for example, had a dagger, I don't think it's going to happen. Especially not Hook. No way. He would rather be destroyed himself. So, yeah. Um, also, you know, obviously I like seeing Arthur and Lancelot... Well, we've seen Lancelot again... Um, I'm curious, you know, to see more of Camelot. I mean, they did arrive there, but again, we got the time jump later on. But I'm hoping, you know, in the next episode, it's gonna... I hope we're really gonna continue from when they just arrived in Camelot. Um, yeah, we have to see about that. I'm definitely, you know, I'm definitely wondering what the... I guess back about Emma's makeover. I'm kind of curious about the thought process behind her look. Um, at this, because why is she not looking more like Rumpel looked? Or like his press, uh, predecessor, what was his name? Was it Sozo? That's the, like I didn't think about before, but now I'm suddenly like, wait a minute, why does she not look more like them? <laughs> Other than, you know, the obvious Hollywood reasons. But also, um, I'm wondering about, um, well, is it bleached? Well, not bleached, but I guess her hair and her eyebrows are more platinum. They've got to give me a Frozen vibe, even though we we already we already have done Frozen. It's past us, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to share some of my thoughts about the makeover. <laughs> um, I guess I have to see it in, in daylight as well. But oh, I'm you know I am happy that we still have that typical I guess evil look with the, uh, I guess, letter and stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Um, I probably missed things, but yeah, I think that's it for my review of the premiere. And I'm excited for the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.